Hi, and welcome to the 2020 AMC 10A playlist. Please note that these solutions are not the only solutions possible, and in some cases, they're not even the best solutions available. They only show the reasonably efficient solutions that I first came to. Now, once the exam is over, it's always fun to compare and find the most elegant solution, but during the test, you're really just looking to find your first efficient solution. And that's the process I'm trying to describe in this video series. So let's get to it. Here's problem 10 from the 2020 AMC 10A. Seven cubes whose volumes are one through three, four, three cubic units are stacked vertically to form a tower in which the volumes of the cubes decrease from bottom to top. Except for the bottom cube, the bottom face of each cube lies completely on the top of the cube below it. What is the total surface area of the tower, including the bottom cube? Okay, so these look like cubes of integers. So that's uh, 4 cubed, 5 cubed, 6 cubed, and 7 cubed. And we're only at a problem 10, and this is problem is already too big for my brain. So I'm going to have to invoke some wishful thinking and solve a smaller problem version of this problem. Let's just see if we can tackle the first three cubes and see what that looks like. So we have the uh, top cube, just a one by one cube, stacked as conveniently as possible on top of the two cube. And we try to stack that as conveniently as possible onto the uh, three cube. So that's a one cube, two cube, three cube. And we want to count up the surface area of this tower. So the vertical faces look pretty easy. I always like to do the easy part of the problem first. So we have four vertical faces for each of these cubes. So that's four times one squared plus two squared plus three squared. We have the uh, bottom face of the bottom cube at a three squared. And we have to add up the surface area of these top faces. And that looks a little bit tricky, but when we look down on this tower, we notice that what we see is the one cube, the two cube, and the three cube. So the total surface area is just the same as one of the faces of the three cube, three squared. So that looks pretty convincing. And the structure is such that I think we know how to extend this now to the full problem. We have to take four times one squared plus two squared all the way out to seven squared plus two times seven squared. So let's work that out. Four plus nine plus 16, 25, 36, 49 plus two times 49. Let's see, 1 and a 49, that gives us a 50. A 9, a 16, and a 25, that's a 50. Uh, the 4 and the 36 is a 40. 2 times 49 is 98. So that's 4 times 140 plus 98. And that's uh, 560 plus 98. 658 for choice B.